Myanmar has just witnessed a military coup against a democratically elected government. We will be talking about this coup in separate video. But in this video, we will be talking about the rivalry between Bangladesh and Myanmar. What will happen if these two countries go to war? Myanmar, formerly known as Burma, and Bangladesh, both of these countries were under British India. Myanmar became independent in 1948 with Sao Swe Thaik as its first president. In case of Bangladesh, Bangladesh was known as East Pakistan until 1971, when Bangladesh became an independent country after Bangladeshi liberation war against Pakistan. After the independence, Myanmar recognized Bangladesh on 13th January 1972, and the relationship between both the countries was relatively warm. The major issue between Myanmar and Bangladesh right now is mass immigration of Rohingyas from Myanmar to Bangladesh. There are more than 800,000 Rohingya refugees in Bangladesh as of now. This has created a social and humanitarian crisis in Bangladesh. In case of escalation of this situation, these two countries might go to war. In this scenario, we will assume that Bangladesh tries to push its border inside Myanmar to create a favorable situation for Rohingyas in both the countries. Bangladesh and Myanmar has land border stretching 270 km. One of the Bangladesh major city Cox Bazar is near Myanmar border, which comprises tri services bases of Bangladeshi armed forces. But this area mostly comprises marshland. So armor thrust will be a very tough task in this area. Although Bangladesh can utilize some tanks and lightly armored vehicles in this area. So Bangladesh can deploy a couple of light infantry divisions and armor division in this scenario with some air support. If we compare the raw military power of both the countries, Myanmar seems to have slightly more formidable military force. Bangladesh might have first movers advantage in this conflict. But Myanmar's air force is much more capable than Bangladesh. With over 30 MiG-29 and 7 JF-17, Myanmar soon can scramble a potent air asset against Bangladeshi air force. Myanmar also have dedicated ground strike role aircrafts like Nangchang Q-5. These aircraft will create lots of problem for Bangladeshi's armored thrust. It should be understood that both the countries operate similar kind of aircrafts. Bangladeshi J7 and Myanmar's J7 are almost identical. Myanmar's MiG-29SMs are slightly better than Bangladeshi MiG-29Bs with better ground attack capabilities. Both the armed forces have very weak air defense systems, so whoever wins air-to-air -air combat will finally dominate the skies. So due to less capable aircrafts and numerical inferiority, Bangladeshi Air Force will not go on offense and will try to provide air cover to the invading land forces. Both the countries have decent navy and lots of naval combat can be expected in this war. Bangladesh's navy has slight edge over Myanmar's navy, although Myanmar's navy has better amphibious capability. Both the nations have number of islands which can be used for forward staging ground. Bangladesh already has Chera Dweep Island close to the coast of Myanmar. This island also has a working airstrip which can be used for air attack. But like we have already discussed in the video, Myanmar operates Makassar class LPD vessels and has overall better amphibious capability than Bangladesh. So Myanmar's navy can mostly use its all force to overwhelm Chera Dweep, also known as St. Martin Island. But we also have to understand that this sole island can defend Bangladesh from entire Myanmar's navy. Majority of naval war will revolve around this island. Overall, Bangladesh will have to face fierce retaliation after its armored and infantry brigade have thrust inside Myanmar. Once they are inside Myanmar, Bangladeshi military will not just face Myanmar's army, but Bangladeshi Air Force with mainly J-7 as their primary fighter aircraft will be in grave trouble. On the other hand, with two submarines and overall better naval strength, Bangladeshi Navy will most likely sustain against Myanmar's Navy. Bangladeshi Navy can also save Chera Island from Myanmar's Navy. Bangladeshi Navy can also try random flank attacks on smaller coastal cities of Myanmar. But a big part of Bangladeshi Navy will have to defend major seaport city of Chittagong and Cox Bazar. So if Myanmar uses its resources wisely, even Chera Dweep Island can be annexed. 
although it will be really tough task to do. Finally on land, if Bangladeshi army is able to thrust deep inside Myanmar in very less time, then they will have some advantage. But if they get harassed by superior air force of Myanmar and later by equivalent army of Myanmar, Bangladesh army might have to retreat. All along, Myanmar seems to have a slight upper hand in this situation. But we have to understand that if Myanmar's air force fails to do its job properly, especially MiG-29, Myanmar will be in great trouble. If you like these kind of videos, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Spearhead over and out.